when I was 40, about the same time I chose to do social work. So as a young person, I used to love doing all the different poses and I also found that I really loved the sense of uh, connection and peace that could be good. So spirituality was quite important to me as a young person too. And I really liked the idea of having a different cultural input about spirituality. And as a social worker, you're often confronted with some quite uh, challenging things that you have to deal with. And for me, my yoga practice was always something that allowed me to stay centred and with people in the room. Just recently, I finished um, a big piece of research where I was asking social workers about how yoga may have helped them in their practice. One of the things I discovered, though, was that many social workers didn't actually know how to talk about the body because we don't actually talk about the body in social work. In the past, we talked about what is your gut reaction to a particular situation, but we haven't continued that kind of practice. So we've focused on theory and we've focused on evidence, but actually understanding your own body and what's happening in there gives you a lot of information about how to conduct assessments while you're out and about in the field. And since they've begun to do research in trauma yoga, they're beginning to find that yes, actually, there is a connection between the mind and body. And that one of the ways that they can help people come to terms with what's happening, you know, the trauma they feel in their body is to do things like yoga. So I've started running trauma yoga classes with a colleague here in Cairns. So we work with people that have got some traumatic incidents happen to them in the past. And we run very simple yoga classes where we invite people, and I deliberately use the word invite, instead of telling people to take up a pose, we invite people to try holding their body in a particular way. And how does that feel? And if they move one foot, how does that feel compared to the other? So that they can begin to make choices about their body and understand when they're feeling churned up inside what that's about and begin to have choices about.